Carrie Bradshaw. I will preface this video by saying that not everybody hates Carrie Bradshaw literally in the literal sense, but a lot of us do. And if you're not one of those people, you probably just shouldn't watch the video because I am gonna go on and on and on and on about the bad things that she's done, about how much I do not like her character and all these things in between. So I apologize. I know how it feels to have somebody slander your favorite character. So I just recommend don't watch the video. Don't even bother leaving an angry comment about it. Cause one, I'm not gonna read it. Two, you're only gonna give me free promo and three, it doesn't matter. This whole video is a Carrie Bradshaw hate video. So you're wasting your time. What are you doing here? Go touch some grass. I don't know. And before I begin, I would also like to preface just one more time by saying that this video is in no way, shape, or form about any of the actors themselves. I am specifically, specifically talking about the characters. Well, this is also not intended to really hurt anybody's feelings. It's just like, you know, it's my page and I feel like this is one of the topics I really wanted to talk about. In fact, I want to do a whole series on just like why certain men main characters or certain characters are hated so badly. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am a huge, huge Gilmore Girls fan. And yes, I will be coming for Rory Gilmore. Yes, I will be coming for that character. I am going to, listen, I'm not going to get into it now, but like, it, just know it is coming. And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Ah, uh, Carrie, ah, uh, Carrie Bradshaw. Your time has come. So if you're not aware, Sex and the City is a show that came out in like the late now. No, let me do my research. Yep, I was completely right. I was right and I knew it and I was right. Okay, I'm done. Sex and the City was actually a book before it was adapted by television. It was made by the author Candace Bushnell. The show was actually based off of her real life and her real columns that she wrote for the New York Observer. The characters in the show are based off of her real life friends that she had while she was writing her columns. I actually didn't know these facts and um, after doing a little bit of research, like it actually makes the rewatch of the show even better better just with the simple fact of knowing that some of these things really happened in the show. And the show was then created and moved into TV by Darren Star. Just saying that for the people who are not really familiar with the show. I've put the characters in order from like who's my favorite to who's my least favorite. And so first we have uh, Miranda, then Samantha, then Charlotte, then Carrie. And what's funny is I really 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 tried not to put Carrie as the last one even though this is a Carrie hate video. But it was just impossible because like the moment I started trying to be like okay maybe Charlotte can go last. Then and I was like, nah, so that's what happened with that. And before people be like, wait, hold on. Why are you even explaining all this? We already know. Okay, listen, not everybody knows about this show, even though this show has been a show I've been watching over and over for like the past three years. Um, You know, not everybody knows. So let's just not assume that everybody knows about everything in the show. And I'm telling you guys for context so that when I'm explaining like certain scenarios, y'all don't be like, who's that? Or whatever. So yeah. Be nice. It mostly talks about the characters and their day-to-day -day lives and most importantly their sex lives because you know the main character is a sex columnist who basically uses her friends to make a living. Can we start there? I think I think that's a great place to start. <laughs> There are plenty of times throughout the entire series where I think to myself, why are these people friends with Carrie? I am a major Miranda supporter, so I feel like this moment in particular was when she started to lose me. Just overall, Carrie is terrible to Miranda on multiple occasions. And sometimes, you know, and I hate to be one of those people, I'm not one of those people who they don't understand that like sometimes friendships just have like little hurdles and whatever. I'm not saying they have to be perfect friends, but I mean like your friend is so close to labor and instead of trying to focus on her and make sure that she's okay and everything you're so busy trying to meet up with your ex-boyfriend who emotionally abused you and she was one of the people that was there for you when he was not it's not clicking for me my main beef with carrie is solely about the fact that she just seems to be everywhere but where she needs to be and i can also slightly relate to her a little bit in that instance um with like the not really knowing what you're doing in life the trying to find yourself blah 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 um 
but Carrie just seems to abandon her friends a lot in times of need. And then in her relationships, every time that she finds someone who fits the bill according to what she's asked for in a relationship, she completely abandons them emotionally, aka Aiden. I would say that it's pretty safe to say that Carrie lost most of the fandom when she dipped on Aiden and cheated on him with Big. I think like already there were certain hints and things like that that made us want to go against Carrie already just because she's a main character, but then it only solidified it when we were given valid reasons to disown her. What I also will say about this is that I feel like one of the other reasons that most of the fandom cannot stand Carrie is unfortunately because she's a main character and yes a lot of her actions have been terrible and she's done terrible things but I think as a viewer we try to put ourselves in the main character's position automatically and try to envision ourselves living their lives and when they make mistakes that we would not make that go against what we think we are which most people are assume that they're perfect not everybody but most people um I think it makes it hard and it makes it even more of a big deal when our main characters mess up and show their flaws in such an aggressive way I think a lot of people when watching shows look to the main character as the leader because they're the one introducing them to the show in the first place the stories being told through Carrie's point of view the different things that may have actually happened or how they happened are being depicted only by Carrie we automatically assume that if the main character is smart enough to bring us into the story then they must know what they're doing they must know the answers to all their problems not assuming the opposite which is that their life is in shambles aka why they have been brought here to tell a story about how they got out of whatever they're doing but through that there will be times where they make the wrong decision in a society today where mistakes are not allowed where people are not allowed to have character development where people expect you to come out with your best presented self at all times because of social media because of the impacts of society um yeah of course Carrie is canceled um and do I agree with it yes because I don't see where Carrie finally learns to really value her friendships except in the revival in the revival it seems like she puts her friends first but also it's like what other choice does she have no offense r.i.p my boy big also another thing that Carrie does um I don't know if anybody's ever noticed this or not but I definitely have and I don't want to officially say it's a black scent because I could be just tripping but there's been a lot of times throughout the show where I was literally rolling my eyes so far in the back of my head they almost rolled into my stomach because sometimes she says things and it's like why are you talking like that and I cannot unfortunately find any clips of this as evidence I would love to but I really can't find any that will suffice and that will be clear enough for you to really hear what I'm talking about but those of you know will just have to be those of you who know I just wanted to take a quick moment to think about why everybody hates Carrie so much and I plan to do more of these videos in the future I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you have anything to add in the comments on why people hate Carrie um please feel free to add that as well thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one